Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part one. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statement will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. The man is looking over the files. B. The man is working at the desk. C. The man is taking notes. D. The man is writing a report. Statement B. The man is working at the desk. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select Answer B and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, Part One will begin. Number one, look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A, they're rowing the boat together. B, they're lifting the rubber boat. C, they're sitting at the water's edge. D, they're swimming in the lake. Number two, look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. Passengers are waiting at the airport. B. There are planes flying overhead. C. The airplanes are parked at the gate. D. The planes have already landed. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The computer monitor is under the desk. B. The shelves are filled with books. C. There are books neatly arranged on top of the desk. D. Papers are stacked on the floor. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. One woman is leaning back in her chair. B. The man is handing some documents to the woman. C. The people are sorting out the documents together. D. The man is looking over some papers. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. They are serving food to the others. B. They are preparing food in the kitchen. C. They are arranging the plates on the table. D. They are helping themselves to some food. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. He's getting on the subway. B. He's reading a notice on the wall of the train station. C. He's strolling along the track. D. He's standing alone on the platform. Go on to the next page. Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your test book. A. A waiter is serving food to the customers. B. There are people looking down from the balcony. C. Some patrons are waiting in line to enter the cafe. D. There are tables and chairs set up outdoors. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. He is typing on the keyboard. B. He is turning on the computer. C. He is taking notes. D. He is staring at the monitor.
Number 9. Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. There are buildings near the shore. B. There is a boat floating on the water. C. Some ducks have landed on the lake. D. Trees are losing their leaves. Number 10. Look at the picture mark number 10 in your test book. A. The jar lids are open. B. The bottles are on the bottom shelf. C. The shelves are being stocked. D. There are baskets of bread on the lower shelf. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear, Where is the meeting room? You will also hear, A. To meet the new director. B. It's the first room on the right. C. Yes, at 2 o'clock. The best response to the question, Where is the meeting room? Is choice B. It's the first room on the right. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. Why did you get back from your trip so early? A. Because the meeting got cancelled. B. Next Friday at the earliest. C. I'll be taking the train. Number 12. Will you be attending the seminar or do you have too much work? A. No, I will attend to it later. B. I will definitely be there. C. Sorry, but I didn't see it. Number 13. Why don't you invite John to your party? A. No, he isn't. B. Sure, I will be there. C. That's a good idea. Number 14. Could you show me where the men's sportswear section is? A. I like sports too. B. Go up to the next floor. C. At 2 o'clock. Number 15. How long is the drive to Tokyo from here? A. Every other week. B. It's a great place. C. Roughly an hour. Number 16. Who is going to attend Mr. McKenzie's retirement party? A. He has not arrived yet. B. Let's go right now. C. Everyone except Jill. Number 17. Would you like to reserve the larger hall for the event? A. Yes, I've already completed it. B. It's bigger than the others. C. Yes, that would be fine. Number 18. The bonuses will be paid this month, won't they? A. Yes, they will. B. No, I paid the bill last month. C. Payday is this Friday. Number 19. Should I go over the material once again before showing it to the client? A. That'd be a wise thing to do. B. He is expected to show up soon. C. It's about our new product.
Number 20. What does he do for a living? A. No, he moved last week. B. He does it all the time. C. He's an accountant. Number 21. Will you call the travel agency now or later? A. Actually, I called them yesterday. B. Yes, I travel a lot. C. The flight should arrive soon. Number 22. Don't you need this note for your presentation? A. Thanks, I almost forgot about it. B. Actually, there was nobody present. C. No, I didn't take notes during the speech. Number 23. Where should I put this box of ink cartridges, Miss Fujimoto? A. At the local stationery store. B. Put it in the next room. C. She is the receptionist. Number 24. Who is good with computers? A. Yes, it is very good. B. The software came with it. C. John is the person you are looking for. Number 25. Won't we have to use the overhead projector at the meeting? A. Yes, I will set it up soon. B. It is a big project. C. I'll head over right now. Number 26. Where do you keep the sales report? A. Yes, I will. B. To the manager. C. In the filing cabinet. Number 27. Do you want to proofread this proposal or would you prefer typing up the summary? A. Thank you, that would be very nice of you. B. Either is okay with me. C. Yes, I read it over twice. Number 28. Didn't you back up the work on your computer? A. No, I came through the front door. B. No, I forgot all about it. C. I will give it back to you today. Number 29. Could you let me know your decision later today? A. I will give you a ring by five o'clock. B. I'm sure it will not be too late. C. It could go either way. Number 30. Isn't that where the new mall is going to be built? A. You will be going there this afternoon. B. I think you might be right. C. Yes, the mall is close to here. Number 31. To whom should I be handing these receipts? A. John will take them off your hands. B. She gave them to me today. C. To get a tax break. Number 32. What did you think of the movie we just saw? A. I'll see it this weekend. B. At the theater in the mall. C. It was very exciting. Number 33. Do I have to deliver it in person? A. No, you can mail it in instead. B. Yes, he works at the post office. C. On the first basement floor. Number 34. Should I schedule you for two this afternoon? A. 
Yes, I have a full schedule today. B. That would suit me fine. C. No, there will be three of us. Number 35. Please give me an answer as soon as you can. A. I will call you this afternoon. B. Sorry I am late. C. He will give it to me there. Number 36. The upgraded version of this program is much easier to use, isn't it? A. Yes, there are many programs available. B. It should be. The price is more than doubled. C. We have the latest kind here. Number 37. Did you hear about John's promotion? A. The sales promotion was successful. B. Yes, he is being recognized for the great work he did on the project. C. No, I have not heard anything from him yet. Number 38. Who will be giving a talk at the meeting? A. All staff members are invited. B. That hasn't been decided yet. C. It begins Wednesday after lunch. Number 39. Why didn't you show up to the meeting this morning? A. It is supposed to be very good. B. All the staff members will be there. C. Something urgent came up. Number 40. This magazine has information about the housing market in Asia, doesn't it? A. A two-bedroom apartment. B. To Japan and Korea. C. Yes, on the back pages. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. book. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Have you decided on whether you are going to apply for the job that's opened up in marketing? I thought it over, and I don't think I am going to apply for it because the position doesn't pay as much as I had thought. That's true, but there is a great chance for a quick promotion there. If I were you, I'd think it over again because in a couple of years, you'll be in a much better situation than you would have been if you had stayed here. Hmm, I think you have a point there. Maybe I should try to see if I can get the position first. After all, I might not even be considered for it. Number 41. Who most likely are they? Number 42. Why is the man reluctant to transfer to another department? Number 43. What will the man probably do? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. I have an appointment to meet with Mr. Ewing at 2. Where can I park? I'm sorry, but our underground parking lot is under renovation at the moment. There is free parking two blocks north of here, but there is a good chance that it might be a full house today because of the art exhibit. Your best bet is to turn your car around and drive back down this street to the intersection. There is a pay lot there. That's quite a distance to walk back here. Do you think I would get a ticket if I just parked somewhere along this street? You can try, but I wouldn't if I were you. I saw a car being towed away a few days ago. Number 44. Who is the woman?
Number 45. What suggestion does the woman receive from the man? Number 46. What will the woman most likely do? Go on to the next page. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Have you caught anything so far? No, I've been sitting here for an hour but nothing's biting. I was just going to move to another spot to see if my luck would change. Perhaps it's the type of bait you're using. What are you using? I'm just using a plain old worm. Number 47. What is the man doing? Number 48. How long has the man been here? Number 49. What does the woman suggest may be the reason for the man's problem? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. I was wondering if you carry men's shirts in extra large here. I've been looking through all the stores on this entire block for the last hour, but I haven't had any luck with finding anything that fits me properly. You're in luck because we not only carry them, but we also have clothes that are fashionable for people who need large size clothing here in the back section of the store. Follow me, and I'm quite certain that you will be able to find something you'll like. This is great. I am sure that many oversized people would find your store useful. It's not easy for us big people to find clothes that we like. Have you been in business for long? Yes, we've been around for a couple of years now, and we have a steady stream of customers coming into the store regularly. Number 50. What is the man doing? Number 51. Where will the man most likely go next? Number 52. What is special about this place? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Why didn't you take care of the electricity bill? I gave you my share of the bill and told you to pay it last Wednesday. We just got a second notice in the mail today. You are kidding me. I was busy on the day you asked me because I had to run an important errand for my boss, so I just couldn't get to the bank on time, and then I completely forgot all about it on Thursday because of the seminar I had to attend. I only remembered it after lunch on Friday and went straight to the bank and paid it. I guess they must have sent out the notice before you paid then. I'll call them and straighten this out. I'm sorry, but I couldn't help it. I'll remember to take care of the bills early from now on. Number 53. What is the man asking the woman about? Number 54. What will the man do? Number 55. When was the bill taken care of? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. The supervisor from our Detroit plant just called to let me know that he would like the parts he ordered for their exhibition in November to be delivered by the 25th of October. Could you make sure to have them sent out by 3 o'clock today? Sure, but could I ask why he's in such a hurry to receive them? The exhibition is still two weeks away, and the delivery only takes three days. I know, but he wants to have enough time to test the materials in case there are any problems. This way he will have plenty of time to have them returned to us to be fixed. I see. 
I will make sure to take care of it right after I straighten out the back order for Johnson Limited. Number 56. When will the exhibition be held? Number 57. How long does it take to send the items to the Detroit plant? Number 58. According to the woman, why is the delivery being rushed? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. How did your team make out in the baseball tournament over the weekend? You're not going to believe this, but we made it all the way to the finals by beating the marketing team and then played the sales team in the finals. You know, if it weren't for John, our best player, leaving the game because of a sprained ankle, we could have won the whole thing. By the way, why didn't you guys compete? We were expecting to play you guys. Oh, our manager Susan is not a very big fan of baseball. She thinks that it's a waste of time spending our weekends playing sports. You've got to be kidding. I can understand that she is not a big fan of baseball, but she should be thinking about the employees' morale. I don't know about you guys, but our guys are all pumped up after the weekend game. I guess some of the bosses don't feel that company spirit is all that important. Number 59. How far did the man's team go in the tournament? Number 60. According to the woman, why did her team not compete in the tournament? Number 61. What does the man mention about some of the managers in the company? Question 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. We seem to have already gone over our budget on travel expenses this quarter. Do you know the reason? Well, the main reason is because the airline we deal with has raised their fares. On top of that, we had to change the hotel we use because of many of our staff complained about being robbed during their trips. So we signed a contract with another chain, and they're a bit more expensive. Well, We are going to have to do something to tighten up around here. Tell you what, from now on, I want you to make sure you allow only those staff members who must take trips to go on them. This way, we should be able to keep down the cost a bit. Actually, we have been doing that, but it's hard to judge which trips should be allowed or not because everyone seems to have legitimate reasons for taking the trips. I think we need to find other ways to cut costs. I'm meeting with the other managers today. Why don't I bring up the issue at the meeting? Number 62. According to the woman, why has the company gone over its budget this quarter? Number 63. What does the man suggest they do to solve the problem? Number 64. What does the woman say is the reason why the man's suggestion won't work? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. You shouldn't be standing outside of your car here. It's very dangerous with cars flying by. Yeah, I know, but my car suddenly conked out and now it won't start. I don't understand why. There is plenty of gas in the tank, and I just replaced the battery a week ago. I used to be pretty handy fixing cars before, but the new models of cars coming out nowadays have too many computer gadgets in them. I think you had better call a tow truck and get a mechanic to look at it with his high tech equipment. I guess I have no choice but to do that. I should have listened to my brother. He warned me that I would run into problems if I bought a car with so many functions. Number 65. Where is the conversation most likely taking place?
Number 66. What does the woman say is the problem? Number 67. What advice does the man give her? Question 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Hello, sir. How can I be of service to you today? Hi, my name is John Smith, and I am here to check in. I made a reservation for a single room for two nights three days ago. Ah, yes, Mr. Smith. We've been expecting you. I can see here that you requested a non smoking room overlooking Lake Huron. You've also asked for your breakfast meal to be served in your room at 7 a.m. sharp, right? Yes, that is correct. I have to make a presentation at a business seminar at nine, so I want to have some time to read over the materials beforehand. Number 68. For how many nights will the man stay at the hotel? Number 69. What did the man request? Number 70. What will the man most likely be doing at 9 in the morning? Go on to the next page. Part 4 Directions You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message Thank you for calling TC Telecom on this beautiful September Monday morning. Currently, all of our operators are busy with other calls. However, if you'd be kind enough to wait on the line, one of our operators will be with you very shortly. In the meantime, if you know the extension of the person you wish to contact, please press it on your phone now. If you are calling to check your account profile, please press 1. If you wish to delete or change your service, please press 2. If you would like to get in touch with our billing services, press 3. If this is a call that needs the attention of a customer service representative, please continue holding and talk to the operator. Thank you, and we hope you have a great day. Remember, we here at TC Telecom value every call. Number 71. On which day does this message take place? Number 72. Why is the caller getting this message? Number 73. What should those who wish to make a change in their service do? Question 74 through 76 refer to the following talk. I'd like to welcome everyone to our special community event here on this Children's Day. As I look around, I cannot help but say how wonderful it is to see many children from our community holding the hands of their parents and grandparents. It provides me with great pleasure to see you all. Now, before we begin with the main attraction of the day, I'd like to remind all the parents that we will be holding classes every Thursday. For those who wish to do a little extra for their children. As most of you, the parents, know and agree, it is vital that we instill in our children the special qualities each and every single one of them possesses. We, as parents, should help our children achieve their dreams and visions. And for this reason, we have set up special classes for the parents to learn how to bring out the best in their children. If any parents are interested, please talk to us today. Now, let's get back to today's agenda and bring out the person everyone here is waiting for. Would everyone give a big hand of applause for Teddy the Clown? 
Number 74. Who would most likely be listening to this talk? Number 75. How often will the class mentioned be held? Number 76. What are those interested in the class asked to do? Question 77 through 79 refer to the following speech. That was Mr. Smith with his insightful information about the types of investments out on the market today. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the next speaker of the day, Mr. Sam Rowe. Mr. Rowe, who has been at the center of attention in the business world lately as the youngest person ever to become the chief executive officer at Live Talk Communications, credits the teachings of his father, Mark Rowe, for success. According to Mr. Rowe, the work ethics and positive attitude displayed by his father during his childhood set the standards for the way he works today. He stresses the importance of our everyday attitude toward work. And will give us some tips on how to make them become part of us. Anyway, at the age of 35, he is the youngest person ever to hold the head position at Live Talk Communications. Here is Mr. Rowe. Number 77. What does the speaker mention is special about Mr. Rowe? Number 78. Who does Sam credit his success to? Number 79. What will Mr. Rowe talk about? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following speech. I'd like to thank the concerned citizens of Barrie County for coming to today's Environmental Committee meeting. Like you, all council members here, including myself, take environmental safety seriously, which is why we have taken the time to arrange this public meeting and have also invited Gus Guion from the Ministry of Health to our meeting to answer any questions or to discuss further any concerns you may have. Gus, the Director of Public Environmental Health and Safety at the Ministry, Has brought with him today a list of things people can do to lower the levels of risk of public environmental health. In recent times, the Ministry of Health has seen the status of the environment deteriorate, which in turn has had an adverse health effect on the citizens of Barrie County. The item that is on the top of Gus's list is toxic sprays. More and more, people are using toxic sprays to paint their cars and homes. However, after the toxic spray cans are used, They are irresponsibly tossed into the garbage without undergoing separate detoxification measures before they are thrown out. Mr. Guion will now tell us more in detail about what we can do to help the environment. Number 80. What is the purpose of the speech? Number 81. Who is Mr. Guion? Number 82. According to Gus's report, what is considered to be most harmful to the environment? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement Could I have your attention, everyone? An emergency situation has occurred on the 10th floor, and I ask everyone at this time. To leave what you are doing and proceed toward the nearest exit out of the building. This situation does not pose any immediate danger, but as a safety precaution, we are asking everyone to evacuate the building. So, please do not panic, but walk calmly to the nearest staircase out of the building. Please do not take the elevators. Now, once you are outside, please make sure all the members of your department have arrived safely. If by any chance anyone is missing, please report the missing person to your immediate supervisors. Thank you, 
and we will let you know the progress of the situation as it occurs. Number 83. What is the purpose of the announcement? Number 84. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Number 85. When should a listener talk to the boss? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following radio advertisement. Home Furnishings is celebrating its 25th year in business with sales on all items throughout the store. Starting from today, lasting until Sunday, we are slashing prices on carpets, beds, tables, drapes and just about everything that you would find in your home. With up to 50% off the regular prices, you won't want to miss this opportunity of a lifetime. So, if you are in the market for home furnishing items, don't miss our sale of a lifetime. We are located on 35 Main Street. We are open from 8 to 7 on weekdays and 9 to 6 on weekends. Number 86. What is the store celebrating? Number 87. When does the sale begin? Number 88. When does the store open this Saturday? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. Attention everyone, the parking lot on the west side of our building will be closed starting from this Friday, January 25th, until March 15th due to construction. Therefore, those employees who enter the building from Midland Avenue must use the south entrance from Jane Street. Also, we ask everyone to please park your cars in our underground garage to allow our customers access to the parking spots on the ground floor. I know this will cause some inconvenience to our salespeople who come in and out of our building throughout the day. However, we do ask you to bear with this situation until the construction comes to its completion. Also, we'd like to make a suggestion for those employees who live near the office to leave their cars at home and take public transportation to work. One other option is to start carpooling. Anyway, think about it, and if you have any great ideas, please go and speak with our receptionist Janice anytime. Number 89. When will the construction start? Number 90. According to the speaker, who will be mostly affected by the construction? Number 91. Which of the following is not mentioned by the speaker? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. May I have your attention, please? This announcement is for all passengers waiting for Flight 705, scheduled to depart for London at 2 o'clock. We have just been informed by Heathrow Airport that airplanes are being suspended for travelling to and from the airport due to heavy fog passing through the region and planes that are scheduled for arrival are being rerouted to other nearby airports. This unfortunately will also delay our flight scheduled to take off for London until further notice. In the meantime, the passengers that are affected are asked to take advantage of the refreshments we have set up in the lounge on the second floor. Please show your ticket to the lounge attendant as you enter. For further announcements regarding the Heathrow situation, Please check with the bulletin board displays set up throughout the terminal. Thank you for your kind understanding. Number 92. What is causing the flight delays at Heathrow Airport?
Number 93. When was the flight originally scheduled for takeoff? Number 94. What is being offered to the passengers at the second floor lounge? Go on to the next page. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following broadcast. Today on our show, we have a special guest appearance by one of the most powerful businessmen of our time. This person I am going to introduce to you next is the person responsible for getting the largest company in our city off the ground 10 years ago. Yes, this big company I am talking about is Kodak Incorporated. Today, Kodak Incorporated has become one of the largest companies in our nation. With over 150,000 employees all over the country and with future plans to build two more factories in Los Angeles and New York later this year. There is also speculation that Kodak Incorporated is talking with the Fujitsu Company of Japan on a possible venture deal sometime early next spring. Now we will meet with the president of Kodak, Mr. John Williams, right after we take this station break. Number 95. What is the speaker doing? Number 96. What does the speaker say is in plan for Kodak in the early part of next year? Number 97. Which of the following is not true about Kodak Incorporated? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following advertisement. While trekking across the mountain range, you can see a heavenly waterfall engulfed by wildflowers and secluded from travelers. At the bottom of the waterfall, there is a pool of water that stretches out into the farther, deeper part of the Pacific Ocean. The local inhabitants know this area as the Pond of Fertility, which dwells beside a very exclusive resort, the Adonis. An Aphrodite paradise. This 50 room facility possesses all the amenities one would expect to find in a world class resort, along with spas and massages, a majestic view of the Pacific Ocean, fine dining, and even an exotic animal show. The active sports include scuba diving, elephant riding, golfing, and sailing. Does just hearing about these activities tire you out? Then you can opt just to rest by the 50 meter Olympic sized pool or lay beside the Pacific Ocean with a cocktail in your hand. So, what are you waiting for? Come and enjoy it for yourself. Number 98. What is being advertised? Number 99. What does the speaker say about the Adonis and Aphrodite paradise? Number 100. Which of the following is not part of the amenities offered? This is the end of the listening test. This is the end of the listening test. Please continue with the reading test.